Hello everybody, welcome back to Coon Valley Campers. I'm Lee and today I'm gonna to show you how to replace your tassie old curtains with some fresh new ones from Heritage Park Centre. Today we'll be doing something slightly different with you guys. We have got a brand new product from Heritage Park Centre. They have released a brand new curtain set to go into the VW T3, Type 25 or Vanagon, whichever it is you prefer to call them. Uh, the window kit is specifically for vans with factory windows. So that'll be for Caravelle conversions or Westphalia conversions or very similar. And the kit by the looks of it, or from what I've been told, isn't for uh, van conversions with cutting windows. So we'll unbox this uh, parcel now, directly from Heritage Park Centre, and show you what we've got. The tools you're gonna need today are a driver with a suitable size bit to screw in the screws that come in the kit, a drill, to drill two millimeter holes for the screws to fit into and a Sharpie pen or something similar to mark the holes you need to drill. The van we're gonna be using today is my personal T3 camper van, Bully. If you take a look at the video just up here, you can see the full story on this one, how we built it all that time ago, sold it and then bought it back again. So all Back when I built it originally, I used uh, these curtains here. We had them custom made. We put the rails up because that was basically all that was available at the time. Now Heritage have brought out this new curtain set. We're gonna be removing these and uh, fitting the new rails that will go top and bottom, fitting the curtain in between, and then we'll show you the results at the end. But before that, let's take this one down. So as far as I understand, Heritage have sent me this kit because it's a prototype kit and they want me to test it for them before it goes on general release. And I'm very happy to tell you straight away that it's a really nice quality item. You've got some good rails and they're all, by the looks of it, profiled to fit the windows absolutely perfectly. And with my experience of putting up curtains from other kits, we've got sided end caps as well. So what we've got on the bottom, if you take a look at these, there's a one, and a zero on these end caps. So when it comes to putting these in the rail, if you notice the profile is different from top to bottom. So if we get the right sided end cap, that'll fit in that profile perfectly. Which one, come here. There we go. So that'll fit in there really, really nicely. And um, then we've got the poppers in here as well. And as far as I understand, they, from curtains that I fitted in the past, they will fit about here or even in the center about there and then they will be used to hold the tie backs um, which will keep your curtains tied back and obviously we've got all the screws I'm not entirely sure what these little bits are for yet I believe they might be the stays to hold the curtain at the end of the rail um, but time will tell let's get on it kind of predict what we're going to need um, so we're gonna have an end cap for each so we'll have two number ones this is for both top and bottom rail two number ones and two zeros. We're gonna need one, maybe two of these. How many have we got? One, two. I think that's maybe one per curtain. So we'll put one of those there and then we're gonna need a screw for each of those. So there's four screws, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So 12 screws per rail and then We'll make that 14 screws because you're going to need to put one in each popper too. Brilliant. Let's get fitting. What we're going to do first is get the top rail, which is annotated on this sticker here. They're sided as well. If you have a look, these curves are going out and to one side. So put this in a position where you're happy with the fit, both left and right and in the center. And the first thing we're going to do is find a hole and then put our Sharpie through it. 
That's not going to work, is it? Let's use a biro. Put a biro through the centre. There we go, and we've got our first hole. Now, these are self tappers, as you can see by the end of the screw. So I'll try, see how good these self tappers are. Now you're going to need a suitably sized drill bit, and this is a num sorry drill bit, screwdriver bit, and that is a num size one. Um, and that is not a posi drive, if you notice. It's not a posi drive bit, and the screws aren't posi drive either. So we're looking for a standard Phillips bit. And we're going to give that a go at posi driving it straight in. There's a hole. Thanks, Dan. We've used that driver to get that screw, nice self tapper, up in the hole. And we're going to now going to pop this. up into position. Brilliant. The next stage is going to mark the rest of the holes. In fact, what I am going to do is actually fit the rest of the screws from here. Okay, it's worth noting that there is no hole behind that end cap. So you're going to be using the self tapper to go through the rail itself and then the bodywork of the vehicle. If you do have problems with it, keep your two millimeter bit to hand and then you can buzz through the rail first, but we'll give it a go. So we've just been looking at the curtain, now we're at the stage that we're able to put it on. And we were trying to figure out whether we're gonna have gray on the outside or black on the inside. I'm gonna say at this moment in time, you can choose either. We're gonna choose at this moment in time to have black on the inside and gray on the outside. And I'll show you why later. But whilst we've been looking at the curtains, I've now discovered what these bits are in the pile of parts. And they're just spare curtain hooks by the looks of it. Curtain hooks, yeah. So they will slide in the rail in there. And so what we're gonna do now is remove the end caps off both ends, slide the curtains on in the right orientation. So the first curtain to slide on is gonna have the poppers on one side. We, don't, we have the poppers on the outside, not on the inside. The poppers can't fit together. They are used to pop up against the bodywork to keep the light out the whole way around. So, from here, we're gonna do poppers on first for this side, and then we're gonna do poppers on last for this side of the curtain. So it's worth noting that it's hard to get those end caps in without removing the screw from further up. So if you remove the screw about here, you can then bend that rail down a bit, pull the end cap out, and I'm guess, gonna guess it's gonna be easier to throw the curtain on without that second screw. And it's fine, you can put the curtains all the way over pop the two screws back in, replace them, and uh, yeah, that'll be absolutely fine. Okay, you're gonna need three hands for this bit. Because you've gotta hold the curtain from falling out the rail. So I'm gonna do that with my left hand. And then I'm gonna use my right hand to put the bottom rails in and try and put them on far along enough so they don't fall out again. It's gonna be awkward. Right, we're gonna approach this a different way. I'm gonna put all the clips on at the top, then put the end, cam ba end cap back in, and then we're gonna put them all on the bottom rail. Let's try that. The last stage of fitting the curtains, you can see they're all in and looking lovely. The last stage is fitting these poppers. And the poppers are for holding the curtain back just over here. So what we're gonna do is hold the curtain up 
to the point at which you want the popper to go to in both situations like that. And this is why we had the black side, by the way, because the poppers will be against the metalwork here, but then hidden. So we're going to put the poppers up against like this, make a small mark where we want it to put our screw out there. Perfect. So in this instance, I couldn't get the drill in properly and my screw was wandering around all over the place. So I've got a two millimeter drill bit. Just gonna drill a small pilot hole. And then put my screw through the popper. Those are in. There we go. And there we have it, a fantastic new product from Heritage Parts. Now, they've asked me to review it as well as fit it for the purposes of the video and just to get the feedback. And in all honesty, it is very similar to existing products out there, but as far as I'm aware, there's nobody doing them for a T3. Um, with the kit, you have the top rail, bottom rail for all five rear windows, not for the cab or around the front. Um, you get the end caps, the screws, the poppers, the material, and even the little tie backs there. Everything's really good quality. It's very easy to fit, especially with those self-tapping screws. And we're, well, I'm very, very, very happy. It certainly beats these older curtains that we have. As you can see, they're always rubbing on the, on the worktop, or they would have got in the way of the hob or sink. So to have something that's tucked up in the window frame, ugh, like this, it's actually creating more space in the van. It's tucked up, and when they're, fully closed they're almost blackout as well which is really really nice so how good does that look I'm really chuffed with it um, I'd love to hear your feedback on them please leave a comment down below and whilst you're down there have a look at the description where you can we will leave a link to heritage site and you can have a look at these curtains and any of their other products they've got thousands of products and um, if you like the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and also take a look down in the description where you can buy any of the tools you saw in this week's video. You can buy the merchandise that you see on the head, buy the new cap, and uh, yeah, we'll give links to everything we've used. If you have a look to my side here, you'll be able to see other videos that we've had for carpet lining your van and insulating your van. And we'll even leave playlists down in the description also where you can see how to build your camper van. Thank you very much. That's all folks. <laughs>